Have you guys ever wondered how to search objects inside Talent? And when I say objects, I mean the integration jobs or maybe the components that reside inside a Talent integration job. So if you're looking for how to search these objects, then you can stick on with the video and we proceed. So in the let's uh, in the first place, let's have a look on maybe a more complex integration job. And this integration job has a lot of different components involved. And sometimes or maybe all the time, it's very important to keep a track of all components which have been used in a particular integration job. And how to search these components. So we have an outline that you can see below the repository. And this outline basically maintains the list of all components that have been used inside the particular open integration job and generally it's preferable and it's advisable to give a unique name or unique label to every single component for example by default if you place a component like tlog row then it's going to have the name tlog row underscore one in the first place then two then three and that's how it increments but it's preferable to give a unique name if you double click on that then you'll get it like that and you can then simply write the name for example display underscore data underscore one and that's how you have the label and now this label you can use to see in this list where this component is residing so this is the list of all components that have been used inside this integration job and for example if you want to look for display data one then you can come here and you can see that display data one under okay this is a different one so display yeah there we go this is t log row underscore four and this is the label and there are a set of different global variables attached with every component uh, i'll cover a separate video on explaining how the global variables needs to be tackled uh, but yeah th this is how you can keep a track of all components that have been used in an integration job and sometimes it's important to see if a particular component has been used in an integration job or not so for that there is no functionality inside the integration job to search but you can always go and open the palette and when the palette is opened look for the component that you want to search for for example in this case I would like to look on tlog row and yeah there we go there we have the component then right click on the component and select find component in jobs and then the search is now done and now this is going to show us the list of all jobs which are using t log row inside them for example if I talk about dynamic schema integration job so this integration job is here and if it's selected here it means tlogro has been used inside this integration job and then we can go and find it out by looking at the list and then we can proceed accordingly and now if I look for this component so this is never used in any of my integration jobs so no existing jobs are found and now let's have a look on the integration jobs so generally we are maintaining a lot of folders subfolders and the integration jobs to better organize the the integration project so if you want to search for them then you need to go and click on this search icon and here you can write the name for example if you look for dynamic schema and there you go you have the dynamic schema you double click and the job will be opened so this is how you can search for integration jobs or maybe components residing inside an integration job.